It is always a map of believing The white landscape and the shrouded farms It is always the land of remembrance Of sudden life fractured in old immovable lines And always the heart cloistered and southerly Gives the eyes the drifting for something perplexed and eternal. It will end like this. The heart will tell you it will end with mammoth and glacier, with ten thousand years of a face in night, and some day the scientists rifling lakes and moraines. We'll find us in evidence, our relics, the outside of history. But your story, whole and hollowed, will end at the vanishing edge of your hand. So says the heart in its intricate cell, charting with mirrors the unchartable land of remembrance and rivers and eyes. This time it was different. The town had surrendered to the hooded snow. The houses and taverns were awash in the fragmented light. And the lake was marbled with unstable ice. As I walked through the drifts, through lolling spirits, content with the slate of the sky and the prospect of calendared spring, it will end like this. The winter proclaimed, sooner or later, in dark, inaccessible lies, and you are the next one to hear this story, winter and winter occluding the heart, and there in Wisconsin, marred by the snow, and by vanishing faith, it did not seem bad that the winter was taking all light away, that the darkness seemed welcome and at last a facing snow. He stood in the midst of frozen automobiles, cars lined like cenotaphs, in a bundle of coats and wool hats and mufflers. He rummaged the trunk for God knows what, and I knew his name by the misted spectacles the caved ridiculous hat he was wearing and whether the courage was spring in its memory was sunlight and promise or whiskey shade or something aligned beyond snow and searching it was with me that moment as I spoke to him there, in my days I am thankful, it stood me that moment, as I spoke to the bundled weaver of accidents, the everyday wizard in search of impossible spring. Tracy, I told him, poetry lies in the seams of the story, an old recollection and prospect of what might always and never be. And those were the words I did not say, but poetry lies in the prospect of what should have been. You must believe that I said these words past denial, past history, and there in the winter the first song began. The moons twisted and beckoned on the borders of Crin. 
the country of snow, resolved to the grasslands, more brilliant and plausible. And the first song continued through prospects of summer, where the promise returns from the vanished seed, where the staff returns from forgetful deserts, and even the northern lands cry out to the spirit, this is the map of believing fulfilled, this is the map of belief.